Hi, Karen Ray here. I know my picture's a little dark here, but that's okay because you don't need to see me, you need to see the screenshot. Um, the other day I was talking with a group member, um, Brandy, I believe, and, and so this, this video is actually um, because she had introduced me to uh, Easy Landing Pages Pro by Vic. So this, this video is actually really relevant, mostly relevant, to our group, um, Global Wealth Network, and um, the video project that we're working on and, and how to use Vic's landing pages as a tool. But it can also, his, his, um, his tool is free to anyone, so it can, this can also be used for any group or project. So it's using Easy Landing Page Pro. And subdomains, and the and uh, in our in when Brandy and I were talking, um, I uh, I came across a, a little snag using the software because I wanted to use a subdomain, um, and the reason I wanted to use a subdomain, well, um, I was just testing out the software, and I really didn't want to to buy a whole new domain name until I kind of got you know a feel for it and um, and also when you're just starting out um, it, you know it, it's you can use that you know with uh, less expense too plus Vic already has some built-in features where you can use different files and you can create different sub different uh, folders for different landing pages so I want to get right into it here so we're um, so um, I just made a few bolts here to, to help us along. So, uh, creating a subdomain. Now, this is for uh, those of us that might struggle with some of this stuff. Um, and that you know, some of you guys, this is just really easy. And for me, sometimes I have to like I feel like I'm starting over every time I get into doing something like this. But um, I use Bluehost, but I'm sure this is very similar no matter what hosting service you're using. So wherever your domain name is listed, you, um, you go to your domain list, and I'm using Bluehost. Um, so I'm going to my domain list, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out a domain name that is very relevant to the type of landing page um, that I'm going to use. And um, so I had picked out a landing, uh, picked out a, a domain name, and this actually is a domain name that I use for one of my blogs. And you can either, um, there's different ways that you can do it. You might be looking for uh, managing your DNS records. Um, that, that, is, that is something you'll need to do later. But you're going to be creating a subdomain that is if you want to, um, you already you already have a domain name, and you like it, and you want to use it, or if you just want to try this out and you don't want to go to the expense of buying a brand new domain name to try out your this landing page feature to see if you like it. So wherever your whatever your a hosting service that you use, you um, you click your domain name, and then here in Bluehost, I can create a subdomain. So I went ahead and whatever I want my um, whatever I want my uh, you know domain name to be, uh, and this is where I kind of got uh, tied up a little bit. But so you create the name of what you want your landing page to be. Now another thing that you can do, and this is what I just learned with subdomains. You can also just use the, the uh, domain name. For example, I'm going to create a subdomain so that it'll be a separate folder in my hosting service, but I can actually still use the domain name, um, even though it's a domain name for my blog. But um, it won't look like that. Otherwise, I would have like create lifestyle freedom dot. Uh, B2B social media solutions and it would be a really long name. I can do that. Now if you have a domain name that is really short then that's not a big deal. So anyway so I create a domain name 
and then um, it'll show up down here. Now um, there's a couple ways. So I'm creating my domain name. Uh, let's go back to my uh, list here. Okay, so um, I'm using an, ex an existing domain name, so I created a subdomain. And then um, you can use just a text um, in, in uh, VIX software. You can, you can do just a text um, landing page, or you can do a video. Now, what I really like here for the group here, the Global Wealth Network group, is that we can actually create a landing page using our YouTube video for you know that we're using in our project and we can use that too so um, so let's go to the uh, VIX software that this is what Brandy showed me and I think she actually had posted it too so many of you may have already seen it and it's a, and it's free. You just you can create a um, you create a free account, Easy Landing Page Pro. And I'm going to go ahead and log in. Um, so then you create a, your account, you log in, and then once you log in, I have now Vic has. A lot of step-by-step uh, -step. so if you're not familiar with this um, there's he's got videos and step-by-step -step, you know um, how to create your landing page for each phase he has a video so it's really easy so um, create um, I've already created one that I want to show you so I'm going to go here and I'm going to say uh, my pages, okay? And then you have the option to, after you create your landing page, you can go back through all the steps and um, if you want to edit. And he, and he made it really easy to do that too. See up here, this is where your video is and he shows you all the steps. So, um, and I don't have to go through all that, I just wanted to show you a couple of things. So, um, so what I, you know, in, in relations to the uh, domain name. So I am using, uh, here's where I got confused, and maybe um, if you have a domain name that um, you want to, you created one just for your landing page, then this is not going to be a problem. You just put in your domain name. But I got a little confused because I wanted to use an existing domain name and create a subdomain and use that. So this to me was confusing. And uh, <clears throat> so um, what I found out is that all I had to do, I created my subdomain like I showed you in my hosting service and then I could still use just the my main domain name. I didn't have to use, I didn't have to put the subdomain in there. Okay, and then you create a folder, right? I put create freedom. You can call this whatever you want. And that's going to be at the end of your page, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, next. Remember, there's all these videos. Okay, now here's where it uh, was a little confusing for me also. Uh, whatever your when you need to get into, um, this is where you get into your hosting service, um, and you you need your main, like when you very first log into your hosting service, whatever your username is, and your your main password, that's what they're asking for here. Now here is also where it just drove me kind of crazy. Um, there's two things you can do here. Um, the easiest thing that I found was to use. Um, when I created my subdomain, um, what I found when I was, um, uh, I'm going to what Blue, Bluehost calls the zone editor, but I believe you can also find that in your, when you look for your manager DNS, I think there's also links there too. So when you're managing your DNS, um, now remember I had an existing domain name so I'm loading the domain name and here it shows me all my records for that so what I have so what 
what we have here, and here, here I um, create lifestyle freedom, okay, and it has my my address there, and um, here is the host record, which is my main domain name, and all I really need to do is grab that number there. So I grab that number, and that's what I can put in here, or or um, since I was I was a little confused on the uh, the subdomain and the main domain, I I thought I had to put the whole thing in there, the whole the the sub the name of the subdomain and the domain name, and and so anyway it wasn't working for me when I found out I could put that in, it really made it a lot easier. So the next step is. Um, after you do that, the next step is here you can pick out your template. There are text templates and there are video templates. I picked out a video template and I think this is what we would probably want to use if we're using this um, that is uh, in relation to our um, video projects. We can use our little short video project videos uh, for the landing page. So you um, and then it go. Then you can customize uh, whatever you want your your um, landing page to say. Here, here you customize your headers and the text, and um, you can preview it. Um, it opens up a new window. You can preview, um, and here is the other thing that I wanted to to show you as an idea. Let me go back to my. Um, my bullets here okay so we talked about the DNS records the IP address host records now we're into the easy landing page pro um, okay so when following Nick's instructions concerning getting the code from your web form which he goes through that beautiful it's really easy when you sel you select the custom thank you page you have many options okay um, and you can do this um, multiple different ways I mean you don't you can choose one or you can go back and you can make multiple landing pages for all of these different options um, you can have your thank you page which once they put in their their email um, instead, <clears throat> instead of going to a thank you page it'll be redirected to wherever you want you could have you the custom URL be your blog maybe a specific blog um, where you have another video um, telling you know thanking them like your own personal customized thank you page or you could have it uh, uh, going to your fan book page you could have it going to another YouTube your YouTube page and what I thought would really be cool here for our project is to have that landing page at least one of one of them that we create go to um, in our projects go to the create lifestyle freedom fan book page uh, Facebook page and that would direct them right there and that's where you're getting the third party validation right off the bat now um, I put in a little note here make sure you're active on the page so if you're active on the page and somebody is going there and looking around it's the same thing that we've been talking about is is you know um, like uh, creating the buzz and the and um, and really using that fan book page so we could have uh, that customized thank you page and um, let me go here so when you're when he walks you through and you get to a page like this where your he tells you he goes through everything and when you do the custom thank you page this is where you can put the URL for the um, for the create lifestyle freedom and then they would come right to the fan page and this is where it's important that you know we want to be active on here every day we want our face to be showing up and uh, we want some of our links and videos on here too um, so because it's where you know we want them to see us because it was our video and our landing page so I wanted to show that to you um, about the, the thank you page. Let me go back to my bullets. Okay, well, I think that's about it. So, a couple of things that, that really slowed me down. Um, I wanted to use my domain name, so I created a subdomain. And what I found out is um, you 
don't have to, let's see, I'll show you what it looks like. 